गोविंद गोविंद धन्यवाद स्टे विशेष प्रभु धन्यवाद महाराज okay hearing you loud and clear jai yes, shri jai jai shri guru dev shri bhakti sand govind dev pasami maharaj ki jai jai shri guru maharaj shri bhakti rakhak dev pasami maharaj ki jai and jai shri prabhu pa shri aisi bhakti rant sami prabhu pa re ki jai and jai jai shri bhakti sirant saraswati prabhu ki jai shri rupano guru bhag ki jai And Sri Saparika, Sri Sri Guru Gorang Gandhava Govind Sundar Juki Jai. Jai. Hare Krishna, welcome, Lin. Happily having you with us. And Rupak, who now is in Italy, but he's a London man and an Italy man. And Lavanya Moi Devirasi, who may not be a London lady, but she's certainly a British lady from somewhere else in England, I think. The north, further north somewhere, perhaps. But she's a Mat- Matabasi. She's not British or anything else. She's a resident of the temple. Oh, she couldn't hear us all that time. No problem. Udara and Prabhu, done about good to see you again. Jai and Lila Shakti Devi Rasi in Brazil. Ananda Lila Devi Rasi in Brazil. Or yes, we'll get confirmation. I think Ananda Lila in Brazil, but we do have more than one Ananda Lila in the world. It is yes, okay. She I'm is in Brazil. <laughs> okay, as soon as I hear you. Is your sound? Then I know. Yes, from Brazil. Dandavat Maharaj. Dandavat, Dandavat. So we're coming together, and for me, it's a bit of a surprise. It's seven thirty, and it's dark. So, on this northern hemisphere, night is now coming early. But in the southern hemisphere, night will be coming later, no doubt, and morning will be coming earlier. But quickly the year is passing by, and quickly the year is coming to to Kartik and the traditional time for doing parikramas in Govardhan, Birindavan, etc. So our minds will all be, our minds and hearts will all be running to India very soon for those occasions. And Guru Maharaj's Vyasa Puja, Shri Guru Dev's Vyasa Puja, and through till Kartik. So Samya Shyam Prabhu, very good to see you. And Vijayananda Prabhu probably is nearby. Are you in the center? No, oh, I'm just on the way in after this. Yes. You're going in after this. Yes. You look like you're just home from work. Just, just, just now. Yes. Dhanavas yeah. Mal. Dhanavas Mal. As Guru Dev would say, suited and booted. <laughs> All right. So let us start. We'll make. The we'll we'll chant the Vande Ham verse, and many of you you do know the meaning word by word. You do know what you're saying, and those of you who don't, please do become familiar with Vande Ham Shri Guru and its meaning. So while we say it, we're not just putting sound into the ether. Yes, Vijayananda Prabhu, good to see you. Seeing you too, Jai. And Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu just joined us from Ukraine, also. And Subha Sini Didi just joined us also from Ireland. Oh, devotees are run, coming in quickly. Tongarasa Devi Rasi joined us from Norway. And Subha Sini, I received wonderful photos from your son, Shinas Ji, and I sent him and I sent him a little video today because oh. today we were with the devotees and we went up into the mountains. But not as wild as he went. But we went with the devotees and had a a good day out with the devotees. We can say. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let us chant Vande Ham, and then Om Agyan to Guru, Vanche Kalpa to the devotees, to each of you and to all the devotees. And then Namo Mahabharanyaya because 
and Tungarasa sending her obeisances and to everybody and Lynn sending her Hare Krishna and obeisances and heart. So very welcome to you all. All right, so slowly with meaning as far as we can together. Bande Ham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalang Shri Gurun Vaishnavangs Cha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatam Vitang Tang Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitan Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Padam Saha Gana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitangscha. In Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Anmilitam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Vancha Kalpa Tarubias Cha Kripa Sindhu Bia Eva Cha. Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha. Namo Mahavaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratuje Namaha. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhara, Sri Vas Adi Gauravakta Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, dear devotees, oh, Lavanya still didn't connect to the audio. Anyhow, her phone is present even if she can't hear us. But she's there in London. And Sarasati, I thought was connecting, but not. Maybe she's driving. Hare Krishna, Dananda Swarupini Devi Rasi. Welcome. Dandavat. Govinda Govinda. Dandavat Smash. Okay, Lavanya. Okay, Lavanya, you connected to the audio. Very good. <laughs> Done the word. All right. So, David Prabhu, he's very kindly given us a, a very important theme for today, which is service of Krishna's devotee is the actual service of Krishna. And I may have some guests from our temple room who are now in their temple in the temple program because i told them the subject for this evening's class or class discussion eh, with the london centered on london and i said if any of you have something to say and they said yes i have something to say so let us see we may have some other contributors today for our in the evening London program. But first of all, I have a couple of contributions. And in a general way, or in a very practical way, I can say that actually, I think for all of us coming from the West, who've come through Srila Prabhupada, through Srila Guru Maharaj, through Srila Gurudev, through any one of them, any two of them, any three of them, or all three of them, and And all of their teachings from the beginning. You're phasing out. Miles. The servant of. I don't know if you're if you're it's your connection, but you keep phasing in and out and freezing. Oh dear! I don't have a second option, uh, so I hope it stays. Let me know, Prabhu, if it becomes in kind of too bad. Is it okay now? It's okay at the moment, yes. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to put that at the beginning. But really, I think from each of Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev, 
always we've got the, the whole idea that we have to serve the devotees. We cannot eliminate the devotees and think we can serve God directly. And in fact, to think in such a way, because we've been brought up by them, by their teachings, we feel that it would be ridiculous to think in such a way, actually. It just kind of grates with everything inside that you know, we can directly go and ignoring all the, the souls who are engaged in his service, that all oh, we can go and serve Krishna directly. But let us come to the words of Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Gurudev. And I do have, uh, first of all, from Srila Gurudev, something which is very clear for us. Um, first of all, it stems from a question, and this is in the book, The Divine Servitor. And there's a question to Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Sandra Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. And the question is, I have been involved with the Krishna consciousness movement for several years and have recently had the association of some disciples of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. They have described his teachings and mood and their association has inspired me. Again, giving me hope in spiritual life. They have also chanted your glories. This is to Srila Govinda Maharaj. And I am writing to you for your mercy. And this is an, an actual quote. We know it very well. We know it's an actual quote from an actual letter because we were there and prepared this letter for Srila Gurudev. And I mean, typed up the letter for Srila Gurudev. And Gurudev making this considered reply. Srila Gurudev said, it is true that we are most fortunate to have come across the shelter of Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Swami Maharaj, that means Srila Prabhupada, and the association of their devotees. Vaishnava Sangha is giving us the highest opportunity to serve Sri Sri Guru Gauranga Gandhava Govinda Sunda as we can directly connect with them, the Vaishnavas. Like the telescopic system, we must send our service through Guru Vaishnava. Service is our life, and in the association of the Vaishnavas, we must get everything. You please try to read the books of Srila Guru Maharaj, especially the loving search for the lost servant, sermons of the guardian of devotion, Prapana Jeevanamrita, and others. It is not only that we are to get inspiration, but we need to do something. And that is savor of Sri Guru Vaishnava. From that door, our super fortune will come to take us into the ecstatic ocean of Nama Sankirtan. Anyway, I just remember the Gurudev giving this reply and giving his heart in that reply to the devotee. And I, so I have this quote here and happily reading this to you. So this is Srila Govinda Maharaj giving us a few words. Then this last part, it is not only that we are to get inspiration, but we need to do something. And that is savor of Sri Guru Vaishnava. And from that door, our super fortune will come to take us into the ecstatic ocean of Nama Sankirtan. And that is the ocean in, that is especially for us in Kali Yuga. Without jumping into Nam Sankirtan, without engaging in the glorification of the holy name, chanting the holy name, and with whole heart, then, as we've heard in previous weeks, we just we cannot worship Mahaprabhu without Sankirtan. We cannot reach. Radha Krishna without worshipping Mahaprabhu and worshipping Mahaprabhu.
Mahaprabhu and worshipping Radha and Krishna, we must come through the savour of Sri Guru Vaishnava. We are engaged in the service of the servants of the Lord. Hare Krishna. And now Guru Maharaj just, sorry, Srila Govinda Maharaj just now gave some recommendation to read sermons of the guardian of devotion. Well, here in sermons of the guardian of devotion, Srila Guru Maharaj is saying, um, by living at the disposal of the higher, we learn selfless service of, of the higher, which is not of any mundane source. This is our necessity, Vaishnava Seva and Guru Seva, service to the Vaishnavas and Guru. Then Guru Mar says, very astound I mean, astoundingly, astonishingly, by Guru Bhakti alone, devotion to the service of Sri Gurudev, in one stroke, all desirable pursuits will be accomplished. And then Guru Maharaj is quoting from Srimad Bhagavatam. Etat sarvam gurau bhaktya purusho hyan jasa jayet. And Srila Guru Maharaj continuing. There are also many symptoms by which to recognize the genuine Guru. And by obeying the directions of the higher, we can make progress towards the higher. We may hope to be selected by the higher and be taken up to that layer if we are considered sufficiently qualified. This attitude will be the main tenor of our lives if we want to go to the high superconscious region. Hare Krishna. And these, of course, are not the only quotes, but I thought to select a short quote from Srila Gurudev and a, a short quote from Srila Guru Maharaj, where, I mean, so clearly giving us the direction that we must serve the Guru, serve the Vaishnava. We are coming in the realistic line of using our energy using our energy in service, in savour, self-giving. And self-giving means we need to be doing something. And the Vaishnavas are those to whom we give our energy, both our heart and our physical energy and all kinds of things. And the Lord sees everything, Guru sees everything. And by our attempt to serve the Vaishnavas, by our attempt to serve Guru and the Vaishnavas, or Guru heading the Vaishnavas, then by that attempt we may be given some added help, faith and, well, sukriti, but some capacity to engage in faithful and sincere service. Hare Krishna and just before I just pop through and see if it's convenient for us to go and disturb their evening program in the temple room with their enthusiastic, yes, I have something to say. I'll just see in a moment. But just before that, the very clear example given by Guru Maharaj, Srila Sridhar Maharaj, about Mirabai. And in Vrindavan, fairly close to our temple, Gurudev's temple, the temple in the very center of Vrindavan, of Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Matan mission, quite close to there is the temple of Mirabai, where Mirabai used to worship. But that temple, it is very famous, many people go there, and Mirabai is very famous, because she was a princess, or equivalent of a princess, and then she uh, gave up everything to be in Vrindavan and apparently be worshipping Krishna, but it is only, she's only acknowledging Krishna and not the servitors. So Guru Maharaj and the, the substantial Vaishnavas, then they don't give high recognition for her. She's at a starting point is what they are instructing to us. She's at a starting point because she has regard for Krishna 
She does have regard, but she does not have regard for the devotees. So what has been imbibed in us from the very beginning by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Gurudev is we must render service and not just we'll make, uh, we'll get a, uh, a statue or a murti deity of Krishna or a picture of Krishna and it's just us worshipping Krishna. And now I know what I have to do. I have to worship Krishna and nobody else matters. Rather, everybody matters who is a devotee. And we will try to engage ourselves in the service of the devotees who are already connected in the service of the devotees who are connected in the service of the devotees. Das anu das anu das. So just on a kind of a a clear note from Srila Guru Maharaj and especially remembering Mirabai's temple so close uh, to our temple, it's just on the way to uh, Seva, so it's on the way to Niduvan from Seva Kunj. And then many people go to the temple of Mirabai. But innocently, they are thinking that she is a great devotee, but as a beginning person, certainly sincere, but in this, by the standard of Mahaprabhu, by the standard of Shira Sarasati Thakur and Guru Maharaj, then she's not in the, in the standard of devotion which is advanced. It is rather the Nishta Adhikari. So let me just pop next door, if I may, Devashish, we'll just take a moment or two of their time. Or would you like to say something? And I'll just see the thing is, I just need to see whether I can whether it's convenient to go in and they really do have something they'd like to share with you. Yes, Maharaj, go ahead. We'd like to hear from everyone. Okay, so in the, in the meantime, you say, say one or two words, but your full talk can come in a short while. And I'll just <laughs> see, but please have a chat with the devotees. I'm coming just now. Okay. So... Yeah, so we, we're um, what inspired me for this uh, title today is because, of course, today is the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charja Maharaj, and he showed very clearly by his example um, the service of Sri Guru, um, uh, the service of the Vaishnavas. Srila Govind Maharaj said of him, you know, his wonderful quality is that he sees what I what Guru Maharaj wants. He sees what Guru Dei, what I want, meaning Srila Govinda Maharaj, what he wants, and then he does that. So, you know, this is it was his capacity, and he showed us by that his own example, and also great um, uh, energy and enthusiasm, a great energy and enthusiasm. He's always serving Guru and Vaishnava, and uh, uh, that is, was his great quality. And we we're very inspired by that. And also, so this was my thinking when I gave this title, that the service of, the, of um, Krishna is actually the service of Krishna's devotee. Krishna's service of Krishna's devotee is the actual service of Lord Krishna. And, um, and he was a very great example of that. So let's see, I don't know where Maharaj has got to. But, um, yes. I've come back to you. Okay, close the door with the sound. Yes, I've come back to you. They are actually all together and they are reading Bhagavatam. But okay. the, the enthusiastic voice of Nadia Sundari was, yes, I do have something to say. And so I asked them, should I bring the computer in or, or she will come here? And they said, okay. So Nadia Sundari has come here and she has something to say to you all. <laughs> and... Service of Krishna's devotee is the actual service of Krishna. This is the, the words of the, that you hear. So Nadia Sundari, she's now a resident of the uh, Vila Govinda ashram here. And many of you have met her before on Zoom, coming from Ukraine, taking refuge as a refugee from Ukraine, but taking refuge in the, in the temple. We know her from from Ukraine itself, and now she's, she, with others, is uh, here as a sevak in the temple, full-time sevak. Dandavat, 
Devashish Das Prabhu and Krishna Chaitanya Das Prabhu and all devotees. Uh, Yes, it was an unexpected uh, answer, yes, when Maharaj asked, uh, do we have some <laughs> contribution? Because actually, uh, right right today, we were coming back from, uh, yeah, it's like I was enthusiastic, now I need to, to, to say something. So uh, we were coming back from our trip today, we were in the mountains, and I was... Um, chatting with uh, Rasananda Prabhu from Ukraine and he was asking me like how my life is going on and uh, what what future plans I have and like what the main question was like what is making me happy and my my um, what came came to my mind it was that I not long ago I asked uh, Maharaj uh, how can I satisfy my guru and my guru Devi is Madhusudan Maharaj and he smiled and told me that he think that my guru will be satisfied if this devotees will be satisfied and I think he was uh, uh, saying about actually these devotees which accepted us here in Villa Govinda Ashram they indeed are very beautiful souls and uh, I felt this mood which I couldn't uh, explain to myself the first time when a year ago first time I came here like uh, I, it was some kind of um, childhood happiness inside of, of me uh, which I couldn't understand and now when I came here and step by step uh, a big desire of serving this Vaishnavas came into my heart and I cannot imagine how how uh, I can now be separated for them from them so uh, I know that the the way will be going into different directions but now it's happiness to be here and to uh, serve this Vaishnavas. And also I had an opportunity to be uh, near uh, Madhusudan Maharaj, like I, I have now. And we were very sad when he went uh, to this trip because like we felt separated from <laughs> to him. Land, to London. To London, <laughs> yeah. And now we are getting ready to another trip. But anyway, uh, anyway, it's uh, by, uh, but by Maharaj, uh, it is shown to us that we, we are, we, we need to keep going. We like, when, whenever we are near our guru or no, like we have a lot of Vaishnavas and from some of them we feel some big affection. So we need to stick them and also like Krishna Kanta, she ins, ins, like all of them inspires a lot. But Krishna Kanta, she was also telling that when she was young and she met Guru Dev, she was like, like she sticked to whenever she she could like she was following and that's um, that's how somehow i feel so this was just just not far far along when i was like chatting with rasananda that's why i so enthusiastic answered yes that i have what to say and that's that's all because it's true whenever I analyze like why I'm here, like uh, like about this statement that mercy is higher than uh, justice the, than justice because <clears throat> if to judge myself like for all what I have done just in this life, it's like impossible to have such opportunity to be near such soul. So it's somehow like when you like see this mercy that you have such opportunities you just want to give as 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 much as you can like till the like even more than you can so and this this that's all my contribution
from now on. I was very happy to see you. I am dreaming actually to to visit one day also London Temple. Yeah. You'll be very welcome. And here's Lavanya Moy in London too. He's in the West London Temple. Lavanya Moy, come and show yourself. Introduce yourself to Nadia Sundari. <laughs> And yes, that's not easy. Yes, got to see you here. We'll see you there. That'll be great. <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Any any question for Nadia Sundari after she's expressed her heart from anybody? Okay, <laughs> silence from the room. Okay, now you can probably hear, yes, you can join the program. Now you can probably hear they're singing Hari Harai, Hari Harai Nama Krishna at the end of the, the evening, the evening program. If you like, just to, so we can show you, we really do have devotees in the temple room. <laughs> then I'll just take you in. They remind me of the gathering in Vangsivat in Vrindavan. There are some illustration in deity form of Vaishnavas having Sadhu Sangha together under the trees at Vangsivat in Vrindavan. You made them happy. <laughs> they could see you <laughs> briefly. <laughs> All right. I shall now be quiet and pass the, pass the microphone to Devashish Prabhu and to whoever also may like to make a contribution. You can put up a, a hand to Devashish Prabhu. Okay, I'm uh, I unmuted. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was... Uh, I said a little bit before, but I actually like it very much this um, passage from uh, from Revealed Truth. And um, the chapter is called Serving Under Proper Guidance. And part of that chapter under the subheading is the subheading is Satisfying Krishna's Devotees. And this is Srila Gurudev speaking. He says, the Lord's devotees are not only worshipable, they are most worthy of our service. Lord Shiva has explained the significance of serving the Lord's devotees. Aradhananam sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam param Tasmat parataram devi tadhyanam samarcharam And this is found in the Padma Purana. Once Parvati Devi asked the Lord, her Lord, who is supremely worshipable? Lord Shiva said, Vishnu is supremely worshipable. What question is there about that? And Parvati thought, but I am not worshipping Lord Vishnu. I am serving my Lord Shiva. And then a little doubt came to her. Is what I am doing right or wrong? Lord Shiva saw her face and said, I am not saying I am a devotee of Vishnu, but that is actually who I am. So you have nothing to fear. Parvati thought, my Lord Shiva is undoubtedly worshipping Vishnu, and I am worshipping him. 
So that is the best for me. Tasmat parataram devi tadhyanam samacharam. Lord Shiva's expression was, satisfying Vishnu's devotees is even better than worshipping Vishnu himself. Krishna personally explains that service to his devotees is the best way to serve him. Yeme bhakta jana parta, name bhaktas chate janaha. Mad bhakta nam chaye bhaktas, tame bhakta tamamataha. This is very famous verse from the Adi Purana. Krishna says, I do not consider someone who thinks I am Krishna's devotee to really be my devotee. He is my devotee, but I do not consider him so much. I consider someone who is a devotee of my devotee to be, to be my real devotee. Srila Guru Maharaj very nicely explained Krishna's mood in this verse. Krishna's feeling is, the flow of my mercy is always going everywhere to all of my devotees. But my devotees are constantly serving me 24 hours a day and never give me a chance to worship or satisfy them. I always feel I am indebted to my devotees for their loving service. And when I do not get a chance to serve them, then I feel hopeless. When I see my devotees devotee serving my devotees, I specially bestow my mercy upon them. And in that way, I am able to serve my devotees. I also consider the service of my devotees devotee most valuable. The conditioned souls are suffering so much in the material world. And my devotees devotees try to collect those suffering souls and engage them in my service through their Gurudev, my devotee. I am always sad to see the conditioned soul's sadness, and I am eager to serve my devotee. So I am especially interested in bestowing my mercy upon my devotees' devotees, to nourish them in their distribution of the service of my devotee. That dispels all the suffering of the conditioned souls and satisfies my own desire to satisfy my devotees. In this way, we can understand that serving Krishna's devotee is the best way to serve, and that our service to Krishna's devotees easily reaches Krishna. If we are real worshippers of Krishna, then we must try to satisfy Krishna by serving his devotees. So there are just a short um, passage from that from that chapter, but perfectly explaining the that Siddhanta of Gurudev um, uh, of our uh, Vaisnava charges coming from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. That the service of Krishna's devotee is really the service of Krishna, and other than that, it is more or less service to Krishna is more or less just an imagination without the service of Krishna's devotee. So we are to always remember that and try to serve Krishna's devotee wholeheartedly as best as we can. And uh, and we are, and Gurudev said we are not to be so um, concerned about, you know, like, well, who actually is Krishna's devotee? Of course, that is important, but Gurudev said, Devotee, 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 you are always telling devotee. But how much devotee? 25%, 5%, 100%, 90%? We can't see, actually. We can't tell by looking from that. So then we are advised to give our respect to all Vaishnavas and to try to serve them uh, without, as Guru Dave said, Guru Maharaj's first lesson was, near Matsaranam, to serve the devotees without envy, not to be envious of the Lord's devotees. Then we can serve the devotees with our whole heart if we have no envy towards them. And then we will get everything. So that's my little contribution for this evening's um, talk. Short for a change. We're all happily hearing 
and very relevant example which repeatedly is given by both Gurudev and Guru Maharaj. And that's Shiva, Mahadev, the greatest of the Devas, and the pure Vaishnava, Sada Shiva, giving that example for us. Subhasinidri, I think you have something you may like to share in the, on this theme of service to the Vaishnavas, very inherent in our Vaishnavism. Maharaj, I'm uh, reminded of one verse uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, like uh, the Lord himself is speaking to Durvasamuni. There's, uh, he's uh, talking about uh, this verse, Aham Bhakta Paradi no Vija. He said, um, um, I'm, I'm completely under the control of my devotee. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, independent. Swatandra, I'm not independent. Actually, I'm in the uh, control of my devotees. And, um, and he said, what to speak of my devotee, a devotee of my devotee is very dear to me, like that. So he's, uh, the Lord's devotees, uh, you know, if you serve the devotees of the Lord, then, you know, it is automatically the, the Lord is saying, they are very dear to me, devotee of my devotee are very dear to me. So, so just reminding about that. So that is, uh, that is the only way, actually, you know, we can only uh, serve the devotees of the Lord who are very devoted to the Lord and uh, to serve the, our Guru, our Vaishnavas, and that is our uh, real, it will bring us our real good fortune. So. Tell us something about serving Srila Gurudev, please. Well, it's only um, um, serving Gurudev means just serving what he really desires. What um, what is his desire? If you try to um, satisfy that, you know, and uh, then uh, everything is perfect. Like like Gurudev himself is saying, "What is Bhagavad Dharma?" It's like you know you. Uh, you do what Krishna wants, like, like that. So, like that. If you serve, what if you do what they want of you, and that is what this is service is. It's like uh, we don't have to imagine anything. It's like Guru Dev very simply, very sweetly. He will use to give this example, like uh, if Krishna wants a samosa, and if you give him a samosa, he'll be satisfied, like that. So he's. Uh, simple in simple language he tells. So what the Vaishnavas desire, if we try to satisfy their desire, then uh, that is the fulfillment. Well, that's what I can think. And can you give a personal comment about if Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj, <laughs> Srila Gurudev, if, if he wants an idli and you supply him an idli, could you give any personal story, perhaps, because we know that sometimes he did want Italy. And Italy is a South Indian, like poached rice flour. I don't know how quite you describe it, but poached what rice flour uh, bun? It's steamed, yeah, with the rice and uh, with a dal mixed, uh, you know, like uh, you ferment, you make the batter, ferment it, and you steam it. And Gurudev really likes that, likes that very much. And um, a few occasions, I had this good fortune of uh, be able to do uh, idlis for him. And um, well, not in every occasion it turned out to be perfect, but <laughs> some <laughs> one time was the only time was very good, and other times are not that okay. But he kindly accepted. I mean, he gave me the opportunity, and also kindly accepted whatever you know uh, the whatever I'm trying to do. And uh, Gurudev is always, uh, always the desired uh, 
in the heart of the devotees, they want to serve something. I mean, the result may not be very good, but that's the desire of the heart to satisfy the guru. And so he kindly accepted that, you know, that is, uh, that, that is the mood of the Vaishnavas, that they look into the heart of the devotees. And um, yes, it was uh, Gurudev was able, Gurudev was very happy on a few occasions when I was able to do. And uh, it's one thing we, he will always say whenever um, I have given him, my Guru Maharaj likes this very much. That is always, uh, he used to say that whenever uh, um, I got, <laughs> had this few occasions. And um, yes, Maharaj. The sweetness of serving the Vaishnavas. Maybe we can also say like that. I mean, really, it's, this is a sweet taste to that service. Yes, yeah. Even a few few words, you know, like uh, I, I find like even the some something you express and Gurudev, even on the phone, if he says something, it, it like it fills your heart like that, you know, feeling that that uh, even through the phone, you know, like uh, the 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 mercy of the mercy of Guru and the Vaishnavas, and that is uh, something. Um, Something um, gives you happiness. The, the the fulfillment and the happiness comes from that. Yes. Thank you, Subhasini Di. And I think Madhu Gopal Prabhu also. You had association of Guru Dev. Can you give any life life experience? Something about reciprocation with Guru Dev, serving him, Srila Govinda Maharaj. Madhu Gopal Prabhu. Dandava Maharaj, Dandava, all devotees. Prabhu, would you like to share something in your life about serving to Gurudev? Because I think you had that opportunity also. Dear Maharaj, I'm sorry, me. my English is no, no good, but I'm trying. Uh, no, I'm. So I'm I remember when I see La Govinda Maharaj visit Mexico in 2007 and the last tour. And I remember in association with Sila Govinda Maharaj and Sokel. And this this year, this, that's in the last tour. Is, I'm very feel opportunity with association with Sila Govinda Maharaj and all the devotees. It's, it's my, it's my museum Maharaj. I, I discussed the paper, no, no, my, my English Maharaj, no, I'm sorry, but my English no, no good Maharaj. Prabhu, Madhu Prabhu, we are very happy to hear from you. We are not necessarily hearing English, we're hearing your heart. Hare Krishna. Jai. And I know we're not going to be able to catch Lavanya Moy Devi Rasi because she's just too busy, but she's got her stories to tell too. But she's just too busy. Lavanya, can we catch you for a quick expre expression? Don't burn the cooking. No, that's okay. It's finished now. I was just oh, okay. distracted. Um, well, um, Oh, well, I don't know if this is really quite relevant, but I mean, I always remember sitting after I'd been in India for like six months with Sudha Gurudev and the devotees. And um, I'd already been at the London Temple and started doing different service there. And um, I remember sitting in Vrindavan and I thought, well, Gurudev gave me that realization that actually, I, th I, I tell everyone this, I say this all the time, it's actually embarrassing. I, mean, I always repeat this one, but I realized then that I was be closer to Gurudev doing some collections and service here than just actually sitting in front of him. I mean, he just gave me that realization. I, I knew that. Then I took, you know, every day sitting in front of Gurudev, obviously beautiful, but here, uh, further away, in a way, actually, I'm more focused because that distance makes, you know, well, now it's a distance, different type of distance, but uh, makes you a bit more focused. 
And uh, he just gave me that realization that here serving, you know, obviously serving the devotees here, um, I will be closer to him. You know, I, I felt that. I said, I saw that. And it's the first time I've heard you're saying, or oh, you're telling everybody, but you never, you never told me before. So we're, <laughs> we're happy to hear that. And it's also, it is feeling. It is, again, not just a, a, a quote as such. It's something that we feel and connect with. And Gurudev wanted everyone to do service. This is the fact. And if anybody was in Navadip for more than, we can say, three or four days, then Gurudev is asking, what service are they doing? Mm. Not just sitting in the temple and looking at him and you know, pottering about or something, but he wanted some service from each devotee when they'll be in Navadip. And what's that service? Again, it's service for Guru Maharaj, service for Gurudev, service for the, for the Lord, Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandhava Govinda Sundar. But through the Vaishnavas who were there, I don't think any of the devotees ever think, oh, I'm serving Krishna directly. Hare Krishna. Yes, closeness is through Seva. And Lavanya, you're just about to say something more. No, no. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Hare Krishna. And Gurudev actually made some interesting comments over the years. We had somebody, we can say a little senior also, staying at the temple, certainly older than me in, in devotional years. And this devotee was staying in the temple and was cutting vegetables. And Gurudev, and it was lady devotee, but a mature devotee. And she would, she would cut vegetables for the, to help the cooks. And Gurudev, he said directly, I don't, I don't consider cutting vegetables his service for her. She, in other words, she should be doing something substantial. And we know in Navadip, in the temple, you know, many people can cut vegetables, they come from the outside. But that lady had some capacity. And so anyway, we tried to encourage her to do something substantial with her energy. And she did do something more. And then somehow or another, Gurudev still wasn't very pleased in one way or another. So really we have to do service from the heart and really try to please Guru and not think that the temple or anywhere temple or our life is just for ticking over, doing something so that I can say I'm a devotee or so that I'm getting shelter in the temple. The temple is for like active, active savor, and our life should be for active savor. So we will try to learn from those who did please Gurudev from, through their savor. And invariably, it's through their attitude of savor, as well as, of course, some the result, what they're doing. And sometimes devotees, they did much and they lost much as well. And we, we have devotees who did much for Gurudev in the financial way, in the time of necessity, and also later lost much. Actually, David Shifu may be able to give us a little example about this. He was, it, is, it is a fact. It's not the, the, like the quantity that what you, of what you're doing. It's the quality of what you're doing. And David Shishwu was very well off at one point in his life and rendering service and Gurudev was very happy. And then David Shishwu was very poor in other stages of his life and rendering service and Gurudev was very happy. So it's not a matter of that, of the, of the wealth side of it or of the, the you know, result side, it's the heart side. So I think I should pass the microphone back to Devashish Prabhu 
for a final few words on service of the heart to the Vaishnavas is all in all. That's how we reach Krishna, not through formality, but by the earnest desire to please the Vaishnavas and headed, of course, by Guru, Guru Vaishnava, Devashish Prabhu. Yes, Maharaj. See, I, I don't really know that that's true about me. You know, that it is true that in different times in my life, I've been, um, you know, better off and worse off. And But I, what I do remember once was um, just echoing what Suvasani did, he said that um, that service is uh, really, you know, satisfying Guru what he wants from you, and and that just reminded me once when I was in Navadri and Gurudev, I was with Gurudev, and there weren't many Western devotees there at that time, and he told me today. You just stay with me, and that's your service. You just be with me today. That's your service, and uh, and then um, <laughs> and so I was just sitting with him in his room, and he's doing various things, and you know, going here and going there, and just going with him. Anyway, in the afternoon, after taking prasadam, Gurudev went to take a little rest. So I'm just sitting in the room, like completely alone, just not doing anything at all, and so. <laughs> And so, you know, I was getting kind of bored. So I, so I got up and thought, oh, I'm going to go, I'm go out and have a walk, you know, go for a walk somewhere. So I went out and for about half an hour or so, I went for a walk. And when I came back, Gurudev was sitting in his chair and he said to me, where have you been, Prabhu? And I said, oh, Marge, I didn't have anything to do. So I, <laughs> so I just went out for a walk and Gurudev said, no, Prabhu, I told you today, your service is just to be here with me. So why you went off for a walk, you know, and I said, I'm feeling a bit bored. No, Prabhu, I told you today, your service is just to be here with me. So, so really, it's just what our Gurudev wants of us that is actually constitutes real service, not, not what we think, you know, might be more interesting for us or, you know, Whatever it requires. And, so, you, you know, they used to have, um, there was a saying um, in the, during the war that they used to say, uh, those who sit and wait also serve. So it means, you know, that if that's your duty, you do your duty and that's also service. So in the same way, then I'm going off, you know, for a wander around because I'm feeling a bit bored. That wasn't service. That was just, you know, my own my own foolishness so you know then better i just sit in the room and wait and i think and i think actually that's what gurudev wanted and and um and uh, he was kind of testing will i do that or will i go off and you know i failed miserably went off for a, <laughs> for a stroll and <laughs> but gurudev was still very um kind to me he didn't he didn't expel me or anything <laughs> hare krishna a very sweet story. I mean, very sweet pastime, David Shishu. And yeah. also, it reflects on Srila Gurudev. He really did want to always have devotees with him. He, you know, genuinely, he wanted to have devotees with him. And he actually led a 100% public life. He, was, he never had, like, private time. Always there was somebody with him, night and day. And that also was uh, amazing for one of our devotees uh, who was dealing with like prime ministers and important people. Is, this was our, um, um, oh, from South India, the devotee from Malaysia, the doctor. His, 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 his Dr. Kamala Sundaram was his uh, regular name. Anyhow, he, he was dealing with the important people all the time. And he said, I meet all kinds of people, but they all have their private time. But Gurudev has no private time. He said, I have never seen this. And so like Gurudev's life was fully 
an open book. It was fully public. And he genuinely wanted to have some devotees around, one, two, three, but he wanted devotees to be on his veranda, just outside his room, in his room, but to have devotees close to him all the while. And that was his kindness to the devotees, and it was his like full genuineness. He just wants to, to be with devotees and not to be alone. Very sweet character, very sweet characteristic of part of his character. Oh, yeah. yes. All right, dear devotees, really Seva is what is asked of us, what is wanted by the Vaishnavas headed by Guru. So let us all try to be good servitors this week. Try to be good servitors, do our best, look at ourselves and try to improve, look at our faults, try to fix them. And as always, not to look out to faults of others or this, that and the other. It's Kali Yuga. You just be prepossessed with that and those faults come to, come to you, come to us. If we chew the fault in others, that comes to us. We've heard this repeatedly. So let us... Instead of that, be seeing who is a devotee, whether 1% or 999 .9 or even 100%. Then let us be engaged in service with the Vaishnavas with heart, with sincerity, and really make our life successful. As Devashish Prabhu said, Nirmat Saranam. Is it Nirmat Saranam? Yes, Not Nirmat Saranam. Not to be envious, be free from envy. Hare Krishna. So, dear devotees, with much appreciation and from all over the world, almost, we've come to the London Temple and we hope everything is going well there, Lavanya. You seem to be almost by yourself today. Where are all the devotees? Oh, well, Sarasat is on the train going to Scotland to see Chaitanya. Ah. Oh. Um, Priya is doing the puja, and Radharani Dasi is with Radharani Dasi. And, um, yeah, there's just four of us at the temple really now. So, for now, anyway, you know, then the some more will come at the end of the week. And Gorna Ryan's returning from Mexico at the end of the week. And um, like that. So, it's a little quiet. Because we had the festival today. So there was about 15 devotees, which was nice. And, oh, okay, uh, very good. So, yeah, so now it's a little quiet in the evening. It's pretty quiet. So. It's all good, though. All good. And, the, and both London temples have a, a big advertisement up for any devotees wanting to come yeah. to London. Um, please, please come to London. Give it all up and come and live in the temple. <laughs> no time to waste. No time to waste. Here we are. Here's Audarya Leela. She just heard the advert. I wonder if she's going to come too. <laughs> nice. Okay. Rupak Prabhu, next week you can start with this question. What is envy? Oh my goodness. It's a very negative thing. Look it up in the dictionary. I think that's the, the short answer for now. And if you like some elaboration, Rupak, then Next time around, we can start there. But really, it's very good to make an, an open invitation for the devotees because West London and East London both are in need of devotees. And Hari Gopal Prabhu did stay on, but he's now back in, in Latvia because he, he has to attend university. He was doing online, but now he has to do the part where he attends university. But he was very happy to have that chance and very grateful, Devashish Prabhu. And I think he'll be back in due yeah. course. Now. Yeah, we were very happy to have him there. He was a great help. But I have to say the Latvians were very happy to have him back too because they, they had a, a very lively, and I saw the video, very lively Harinam Sankirtan on Sunday in Latvia with Harigo Gopal Prabhu back on the Mridangas. So, yeah, good. Guru, as Guru Mar says, a servitor is welcome everywhere. So to his credit that he was welcome in London, welcome here, welcome in Latvia. 
Jai wonderful Srila Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda, Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki. Jai, Jai. Jai wonderful. Srila Guru Maharaj, Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Rakhok, Sri Dhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki. Jai. Jai Avashi Rupanuga Guru Vaga Ki. Jai. Jai. Bhakti Viranta Swami Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Jai. Jai Sri Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki. Jai. Jai. And... Our Sri Chaitanya Sarasad, Archarja Brinda Ki Jai, and all over the world today, giving special remembrance and honor to Srila uh, Bhakti Nirmal Archarja Maharaj on his Sri Vyasa Puja Day today. Ki Jai. jai. And Sri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai. jai. Sri Padavis Vishnu Ki Jai, all the London, UK, and assembled devotees, ki jai, and all jai. the Anantaputi Vaishnava, the unlimited devotees everywhere, ki jai. Nitmai Gaur Premanandi, Hari Hari Bo. Jai, Srila Bhakti Ranjad Madhusudan Maharaj, ki jai. Bancha Kaupatarubhyas cha, Kripa Sindhu Bhishnava cha, Patitanam Pavane Vyo, Vaishnava Vyo, Namo Namo. Dandavat, and thank you to each of you, to Lavanya, to Subhasini, to Madhu Gopal Prabhu, you expressed very nicely, Prabhu. And to all of those who didn't get a chance to express, but we're very happy to have you with us from Brazil, Lila Shakti Didi, Ananda Lila Didi, Ananda Swarupini there in London also, Lin Tongarasa, Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Udaran Prabhu, Rupak here in Italy now, and Saumya Sham and Vijayananda. On their way to the temple, perhaps in the car right now, to the new ashram. And of yeah. course, to Devashish Prabhu, our host. Dandavat, Dandavat.